For over 30 years, the United States was around third place. But in this latest report, the U.S. is at 19. Why? What happened? Well, the biggest single factor contributing to the U.S. decline is the decline in the legal structure area and protection of property rights. From the wars on drugs and terror to the more widespread use of eminent domain to take property from one party and transfer it to another, to the auto bailout, which tended to undermine the property rights of, of bondholders. Well, generally, the Economic Freedom Index is showing a rise of economic freedom around the world, I mean, only a handful of countries are decreasing. Some people object to economic freedom because they think it's just freedom for the well-off, for the big businesses and for those who already have power. What's your take on that? I think if you look at the U.S. Uh, in response to kind of the financial crisis, what did we get? We got greater concentration in the banking industry. It's harder to be a local uh, bank, local savings and loan. Um, uh, the banking interests and banking lobbyists used the, the opportunity uh, by the financial crisis to solidify uh, their position in the marketplace. Uh, that's not economic freedom, right? That's antithetical to economic freedom. All those lobbyists that those corporations hire and they send to the national capital, they're not arguing for more economic freedom. They're arguing for less. They're arguing for, arguing for special privileges.